Hi everyone, this is Cyber here. I'm here today to bring you another Killer Clowns for Out of Space the video game video. This is not my normal video, usually I'm doing news or just going off gameplay and that kind of stuff. But today I have a little controversy. Um, me and a few other people I've noticed. Um, now in the last update they added the in-game store where you can buy DLC. They no longer are going to sell it in the normal video game stores. Uh, it's going to be in their game store. Tom Sweeney, Vira. they were 400, uh, 400 tickets each. Um, they have their own currency, which is called tickets. Um, that's the problem going on. Um, at the current moment, it looks like their uh, ads with some other people are making some confusion, and it kind of comes off as false advertisement. So let's load in. So you got five dollars for two hundred tickets, ten dollars for four hundred fifty, a thousand for twenty. So based on there, if you look at it, and I've asked some other people I even work with, and some random people have had this confusion so on here it says you if you're buying both dlc you would get a thousand tickets and then at the top it says plus 200 bonus if you read on the side it says thousand tickets tickets can be spent in the killer clown for this page blah 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 tickets to buy whatever uh this bundle includes 200 bonus tickets so you would be faking you'd be getting a thousand 200 tickets based on that no, you are getting 800, but nowhere on there does it say 800 tickets. At all. Yes, at the bottom it does say this bundle includes 200 bonus tickets, but most people are not going to read that. They're going to look at it and go, oh, I'm going to get 200 bonus. Yes, that it says this includes, but it does not say within the number. It doesn't anything like that. It's very confusing. It's kind of false advertising. It's kind of like if I go to a retail store and they say, like, on some tail you gotta buy five of these get it for this price if they didn't have it on there and i looked at it and they go i go up the front and they say no you gotta buy five of them to get that price and then you don't look at the sign it doesn't have it anywhere on there they have to give you for that price it's called false advertising now if they have it on there yeah you have to buy five that's how false advertising works and all that kind of stuff so you're not confused many other games do this where they add bonuses I'm actually going to show you another game that doesn't make it confusing. You know exactly what you're getting. So let's switch over to that and check that out. All right, guys. So here we are in WWE 2K24 in my faction mode where you can buy VC, which is their in-game currency for that mode. Um, for the $20, you're paying for $60,000. You get $7,500 for free. So you're you're paying for $60,000. So you know what you're paying for. There's no confusion. No long list of what you're paying for. Say with every other thing here, they tell you break it down exactly how much you're getting and how much you paid for and at the top. Very simple, very easy. You know exactly what you're doing. No confusion that you're paying for this and you're only getting that. So they need to reword it. They need to make it more ad friendly and they have to do right by the consumers by once they fix it, send everyone out that bought the 20 before you fix it 200 points extra. I know it's not a lot, but it's still false advertising. If you go to a retail store, like I said, and let's say I it's on sale for four dollars, and they're like, "Oh, that's a fault. That's old. It's six dollars." You still want the two dollars off. I know it's not a big worry. Some people won't care, but like I said in the game, you probably saw that I had 200 points. If I get 200 more points, that could give me a free skin. I don't have to worry about buying more points to get the skin. It's, it's, they, you gotta do right by your consumers. You gotta do non false advertisements. I'm not trying to make it this into the big thing, but I figure I should cover it for you guys. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know. Um, I'm not trying to over it, but you also gotta put the in game currency correct when you're offering it that way. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you for checking out this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe.